Um, if you watch my video of my Saturday night in, you'll know uh, I've got this to review. It's the Russell's barbecue rib. I have done in a previous video, it's basically this, and it was like bang, cut in half, and it was two burgers, and it was terrible, and it was really just, like, it tasted shocking, to be honest. But um, some comments, well, one comment, um, mentioned that, no, no, sorry, a few, because a few people have also told me, Scott Sean said, this tastes different than the rib, the little teeny ones, because these have actually got quite a good um, reviews from other people. Couldn't get my words out then. So basically, it's made with the finest quality pork. I didn't see that one on the other one, to be honest. And it's obviously like a subtype, well, what do you call it? The barbecue rib. It's like a, like a subtype roll. It looks very similar to the uh, the one I got. Let's just focus this in. Why is this? There we go. Uh, basically, it's our pork rib uses only the finest quality pork. All our pork is traceable back to the bloody bloody blahs. So yeah, let's do the usual way to eat it and see what it's like. So it's out here. It's meant to weigh. Is this? No, oh, it's not going out there yet. Meant. Why is this not focusing? Ah, oh, 157. Is it going to weigh 157? I'm going to say. What did I say last time? Was it 163? My random guess. I'm going to go 165 this time. Bam. Oh wow! Bang on, rustlers. You're very good at this game. Look at that. Interrupted by one of the little ones. Always comes with sachet barbecue sauce, which is really small compared to the bun. Uh, there it is. Oh, let's turn that off now because it's making this really weird high pitch noise. Um, <laughs> it's just a reformed piece of pork, really. Calorie wise, I'm not going to try and like focus it in again, but calorie wise, oh, it's doing 100 grams. I'll put up, it says 100 grams is 270 calories, so 150, add another 50%, which is like 135, you're probably looking at 200, 300, you're looking at almost 400 calories for this, so high, in the medium to high range. Let's cook it up, let's weigh it, let's eat it, and see if it tastes anything like that shitey one I got from Iceland. While that's just cooking in the microwave, I want to let you know, if, if anyone did watch my video of uh, last night, my little Saturday night in, um, I mentioned that my new 50 inch super smart LED TV broke. I only had it two and a half weeks. Um, so I took it back today to Argos and I had to carry it there. It's okay because I'm a big, strong, strapping, handsome man. Anyway, so I carried it in and no joke, there was, there was a woman, I'm going to say she's like a lesbo she's a butch lesbo because she was also carrying the tv anyway that's beside the point i'm um i'm pro gay party people how you feeling is that right I, that, oh, I, don't, I don't know what i'm talking about anyway the um the moral the, the story is i took it in and she was carrying the same tv and she says oh is that a so-and-so i said yeah she said, oh they broke as well and i said yeah she goes oh it broke just at eight o'clock last night randomly i'm like huh I said, that's, that's exactly what happened to me. And she's like, what, 8 o'clock on the dot? And I was like, yeah, literally 8 o'clock, more or less, it just stopped working. Um, I made a little video I'm just going to put in here just to show you when I was in Argos. Uh, just a little fact for you, yeah, don't buy that Hitachi TV. So, just returned my TV in Asda, and someone replaced the exact same one, exact same problem, at the exact same time. Anyway, here's the final. Final Cook's product, it has no smell. There is, it has a slight smell, but not, I can't really describe it to you. It's just like a weird meat substance. Um, there it is. Oh, I'll tell you what, I didn't weigh it with that on. Huh. So there it is. Um, it is hot. The bun is all right. It's a bit, it's not gone hard. Rustlers don't normally do that. And especially the fridge stuff, I find, don't normally do that. Um, underneath, also stayed really nice. Very Too hot to eat at the moment. Um, I'm just going to put the barbecue sauce on, then we'll weigh it with that, and I'm going to cut it in half, cha -cha, and I'm going to eat it, and I'm going to see if it's, yeah, we'll do that. <laughs> there it is, the barbecue sauce. Barbecue sauce smells really nice. Can you smell that? Can you smell it? It smells really nice. Let's weigh it. One hundred and sixty-two. So it weighs a little bit more. <laughs> oh, I guess you put the sauce on, yeah. Um, 
got some really bad news. This is, I think I've failed. I think I've sinned the snack eating community because I, uh, I fear to say this, but I actually brought this at full retail price. <laughs> just settle in for a minute I paid two pound nine for this I would have never done that normally um, but I wanted to see if it tasted anything like the Iceland one so I went out just for you guys so uh, let's cut this in half and try it okay it's cut in half and also wouldn't it be cool if like they brought the McRib to the UK because I know this is pretty much what it's trying to be like was it ever in the UK I've seen American reviews of it and it just looks really cool it's really nice with those big bits of onion on and it's absolutely smothered in that sauce as well really messy it's not my mouth water now anyway there it is I'll take a few bites and i'll let you know literally straight away from the very first bite you can tell there's a huge difference one the bun is really really soft two the meat is a lot more tender it is not chewy like an old leather boot it has some flavor the barbecue sauce, really, really nice. That is nothing like the rib burger. I don't understand why. I'm going to have to look at the ingredients between this one and the other one because this is really, really nice. The rib burger one is really, really bad. I'm going to happily finish eating that. I mean, like I say, that is, that's a lot more tender. The bun, the barbecue sauce, it all just works really, really well. And it's like making your mouth water. You want, you want to take another have a bite i mean yeah rustlers you've you done good on the barbecue rib this but you fucked up majorly on the little rib burger i don't understand it's a conspiracy um i'm gonna finish that happily i'd recommend go and get in this and if you've already had the rib burger but not had this definitely go and get this um because it will uh, lift your spirits high and bring rustlers back to where they should be